Castles of Mad King Ludwig is a castle building game for one to four players. It takes about 90 minutes. To start, set up the central board and use the four player side for a four player game and the two to three player side for a two or three player game. Shuffle each stack of room tiles and place them on the matching spaces. In a four player game, you will use all of these tiles. In games with fewer players, remove some of the tiles as instructed by the rulebook. Shuffle the room cards and count out 11 cards for each player. Place these on the corresponding space on the central board. Shuffle the favor tiles and draw one randomly for each player. Place these face up on the contract board. Draw and reveal room cards according to the number of players and place the tiles along the bottom of the contract board. Once the board is set up, each player takes 15,000 marks, chooses a color, and draws three bonus cards. They return one bonus card to the bottom of the stack and keep the other two. Now, the game is ready to begin. On a player's action, they can do one of two things. They can pass their action and take 5,000 marks, or they can buy a new tile for their castle. Each time a player buys a room, hallway, or set of stairs, they take any money on the tile and pay the total cost to the player with the Master Builder token. Then, they place the tile in their castle. Each new tile must connect through an open doorway. The new tile can border another tile, but cannot overlap one. Each new room may affect a player's score in two ways. The room grants players instant points as shown in the tile's upper left-hand corner. Many rooms also grant conditional bonuses or penalties as shown by the symbols in the middle of the tile. Properly placed, a new room may complete one or more rooms. A room is complete when all of its doors are connected to other doors. When completed, each type of room grants a player a reward as shown by the player's reference sheet. At the end of the turn, place a 1000 mark coin on each room that remains below the contract board and pass the Master Builder token to the left. The Master Builder starts the next turn by turning over room cards to replace each tile bought. Then, the Master Builder arranges the rooms in any order. The game ends after the turn in which the Master Builder reveals the last room card. Once all players take their action on the last turn, they enter the endgame scoring phase. During this phase, players gain additional victory points according to bonus cards, empty tile stacks, money, and favors. The player who did best on each favor gains 8 points, the player that did second best gets 4 points, and so on. In the case of a tie, all players involved in the tie add up the points and divide them equally. Each room in a player's castle from a depleted stack is worth 2 bonus points. Each player also reveals and scores each of their bonus cards. Each 10,000 marks a player has at the end of the game is also worth 1 additional bonus point. The player with the most points wins. This has been a Clever Move Quick Play. For more board game information, news, and fun, visit clevermovegames.com.